for every year that passes out here in the forest, I feel like I need more and more time and space for myself. Right now, Christine, my girlfriend, is in Copenhagen visiting her family, which means I'm completely alone in the cabin, besides our two huskies. But that has given me a lot of time to think. And there's this one question that keeps popping up that I'm gonna try to answer today. That's the whole reason for this video. I've been living in the capital of Sweden most of my adult life, uh, working a standard 9 to 5 job that really physically drained me. I <laughs> hated it. And now, when I'm living in the forest with no neighbors, running my own company, I'm just thinking like, maybe this is the first time, maybe in my entire life, that I'm actually doing what I want, listening to my voice and what I need. And that question I keep coming back to, oh, it's really raining, uh, is that, what if I've always been like this? What if I've always needed this much time and space for myself, but living in a city, and working, like uh, being in the framework of a 9 to 5, hasn't allowed me to do that until now when I live here in the cabin. Like giving me the time and space to feel, think. By the way, this is one of my absolute favorite sounds in the entire world. Can you hear it? There's so many times I see the exact same comment in the comment field, which is, don't you ever feel lonely? And the short answer is, no, <laughs> I don't. Um, and I also, of course, think it's a big difference of feeling lonely and being alone. Those are two very different things. And yeah, to be honest, back in 2018, when I moved here the first time, uh, or the, the only time I moved here permanently, um, I was in a very different state back then. Uh, I was going through a very rough period, a re very rough depression, and I didn't have any direction in life. I didn't know where to go and how to even get out of it. So at that point, yeah, I felt very lonely. Um, but today, uh, it's gonna sound so like pretentious or, I don't know, self-centered. Um, but in all honesty, I'm living my dream life today, so I think it's just healthy to be alone sometimes. I enjoy this so much to have the cabin for myself for a few days and just hearing my own thoughts because there's so much distractions, distractions in the world from our jobs, for friends and family, noises all over the place. So getting some peace and quiet to think for yourself, hear your own thoughts, I think that's, I think that's so necessary. I also think that one of the reasons for me being so okay being alone is because I know it's gonna end. Like in a few days, Christine is gonna come back home and we're going back to our ev everyday life. So I think that makes it so much easier because when I lived here alone without dogs, there was no end date, it was just me. <laughs> and it may sound very good and relaxing to be by yourself, but at some point we are very social creatures. I think you, thanks to this YouTube channel, see me as a very social person. Um, I think I'm a very social person when I choose to be, but I really discovered thanks to this lifestyle that I'm really not. <laughs> like, I really like my own time, uh, say no to a lot of activities. Um, of course I miss my friends and family and I hang out with a lot of people, but I like it when I can choose it myself. And that's the same thing with this alone versus lonely, loneliness feeling, that I really enjoy it because it is ending. Uh, I choose when it starts, I choose when it ends. 
it's more up to me. I think that goes for most things in life, that if it was endless, we wouldn't enjoy it as much. It would be the same thing as like, now we travel to like a cafe or restaurant maybe a few times a year and do that. But if we did that every single day, that would take the fun out of the whole experience, I think. Me being alone a few times a year for a longer period, period is what makes it so fun and makes it makes me feel so happy about it and just because I'm <laughs> just to get this clear just because I'm so happy being alone doesn't mean I don't miss Christina I love our life together but I think both things need to coexist at least for me that I need my own time to be able to be a good boyfriend so if my if my me bucket if like I've talked about before if my me bucket is full it can pour over to the relationship bucket, the work bucket, or whatever it may be. Because if my me bucket is at 20%, I don't get my, my alone time, I don't get time hanging out with my friends or do what I need to do. There's nothing of my, I have nothing to give to others in my life. So in that sense, I kind of need to be selfish, I think. I don't know how you see it. How, where do you prioritize yourself? Are you first, second? If you have like categories like you, your maybe your partner, if you have that, uh, family, money, career, where do you put yourself and why? That will be really interesting to see. I think the real reason for me getting the comment about loneliness so often in my comment field is because today it's almost a taboo to be alone. But I think if you can be alone, alone and happy at the same time, I think you come a long way. If you can go to uh, restaurants or movie theaters by yourself, I think that's real strength. It's fascinating to me that we're living in a world today where we are connected to everyone. We can reach whoever we want, whenever we want to, but there's still so many people that feel lonely. Even when I lived in the city, like it, there was a million people there, but I still felt very lonely. And the way I like to look at it nowadays is that don't say I'm lonely, don't say I'm alone, say I'm with myself. Two times a month I send out a completely free newsletter about simple living, creativity and self-development, like stuff we've been talking about today. And what I write in those very personal letters I don't post anywhere else. And I also always include my top three for the last two weeks and that could be my book recommendations, music I like listening to, or a quote that I've been speaking to me. So if you want to check that out, there's a link down in the description. Otherwise, I would highly recommend watching maybe this video or this one. Otherwise, I will see you guys next Sunday in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and yeah, see you next Sunday. Bye.